Well, herbs are great for cooking, but they're also good for your health. And this week's In the Garden, KZI 9 News anchor Sean Cuellar shows us some herbs to add to your garden. It smells so good right now at Johnson Brothers Greenhouses, and the doctor is in. This is Caleb Johnson. We're talking about herbs that are beneficial for your body. Yeah, so a lot of the herbs that we eat on a regular basis actually have uh, health benefits that we're probably not aware of. So parsley, for example, uh, has been linked to help prevent breast cancer. I did not know that. Yeah. Mint is great for your stomach, your digestive issues, and then oregano is an anti-inflammatory and helps with those aches and pains. And thyme is here as well. What does thyme do? Thyme is in a lot of your mouthwashes because of its high antifungal uh, benefits. I did not know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then this guy right here is Wan Noak. This is not such a common one. It's very common in Southeast Asia. It's kind of a cure-all herb because of its high, high antioxidant uh, concentration and uh, flavonoids. So um, just a, a pretty special plant. I've got one at home. I'll take one of those. Yeah. But I do have basil. Tell me more about basil. How is this going to help us? Basil is antiviral and anti-inflammatory. So good for, you know, the aches and pains and good for just kind of cleaning out your system. And rosemary. Rosemary has been linked to help with uh, cholesterol. And then also the new thing that's kind of uh, being studied is just that that smell kind of gets your brain uh, engaged, almost kind of like coffee. Just smelling that coffee kind of gives you a kickstart. <laughs> Smell some rosemary and give yourself a kickstart. I'll tell you, I'll take one of those for my desk at work. Well, thanks so much, Caleb. Some great ideas to put herbs to use benefiting your body.